Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Era. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the lead code by weekly contest 71. Problem B. The name of the problem is partition array according to the given pivot. So in this problem, you will be given a zero indexed array which whose names will be nums and you'll also be given an integer that is named as pivot. You have to rearrange the array nums in such a way that the following conditions are satisfied. Every element which is lesser than the pivot uh, should appear before the pivot and every element greater than the pivot should appear after the pivot element, right? Every element equal to pivot should appear in between the elements that are less than the pivot and every element that is uh, greater than the pivot, right? So the relative order of the element should be maintained. Like if there is an element like this, let's say if I am making something like this, uh, if I, the given array is like 9, 5, uh, like 9, 12, and then we have 5, 10, 14, 3, and 10. If we have the array like this, and the pivot element that has been given to us is 10. So all the elements that are lesser than the pivot element should appear in the left of the pivot element towards the left. So towards the left, all the elements which are lesser than the pivot element should appear and all the elements that are equal to the pivot element should appear in between. All the elements uh, that are greater than the pivot element should appear in the right part. Okay, and the relative ordering needs to be maintained. What does it mean by the relative ordering? So let's say that if uh, two elements are there, let's say the pivot is 10, right? If the pivot is 10, then I know that after I'll rearrange the array. So I know that uh, my element number of element 5 and element 3, both of these element will come towards the left of my 10, right? This 5 and this 3, both elements are lesser than 10. So both of them will come before the element before the element 10 but 5 and 3's relative order should be maintained like if you will look in this array so you can easily observe that 5 is occurring before 3 right 5 is occurring before 3 so once you have the final resultant array so in that resultant array as well all the elements towards the left of the pivot should be lesser than the pivot all the elements towards the right of the pivot should be greater than the pivot element and the relative order should be maintained so that means that 5 should appear before 3 in the resultant array as well this is what it means like in this particular case if i will talk about uh, the example that is uh, this example right if if you have 10 right if 10 is the pivot element then you can look for the greater example as well right if you have 12 and 14 so if you have 12 and 14 so you can see that from left to right 12 is occurring before 14 right 12 is occurring before 14 and both of them will be coming after the element after the pivot element that is 10 so 12 and 14 are coming towards the right side so you should write 12 and then 14 and if you write 14 and then 12 so this would become wrong wrong because why because the relative ordering will uh, will be violated because the relative ordering is 12 is coming before 14 right so how will you uh, do this problem so the implementation part is pretty easy first of all what you can do is you can uh, make a resultant array right you can make a resultant array and in that resultant array you can mark a starting point you can mark a starting pointer like this right so you'll have a starting pointer initially your pointer or the index uh, or the variable i or the pointer can point to this particular index that is zero and what you will do is you will first of all go to every element of i right you will iterate through the array once and you will check is this particular element if the ith element is lesser than the pivot element then in that case you will be pushing it in uh, you'll be adding it into your resultant array if it's greater uh, if it is equal to the pivot element right if it is equal to the pivot element in that case you will be counting the number of elements which are equal to the pivot element so you'll keep a count which will count the number of elements which are equal to the pivot element right so initially the pivot elements count would be zero i come to this element so this uh, since my pivot is 10 and my current element is 9 so I can definitely say that this will occur towards the left so I'll add 9 to my answer like I'll do result of a result of something like a pointer or the index plus plus right so that I can move to this particular index that is the next index so in that case what will happen like this is the index 0 this is the index 1 so I'll move to the next index in the by doing a pointer plus plus and before doing that I am storing like a of i or nums of i you can say right nums of i has been given so you can write nums of i right next up you can see at 12 so since 12 is uh, uh, not uh, lesser than 10 so that's why i'll skip it for now after this what i'll do i'll see 5 so once i see 5 so i can easily observe that 5 is the element which is lesser than 10 so i'll again do this process that is result of pointer plus plus is equal to nums of i so that means that i am i'll be uh, storing 5 at this particular index and then i'll be updating my pointer or my uh, 
uh, accessing the index right so i'll be updating my pointer now what will happen after this i'll come to 10 and since 10 is equal to the pivot element so that's why i'll update my counter from 0 to 1 after that i come to 14 since 14 is the element which is greater compared to uh, compared to 10 so that's why i'll not do any operation on it then i'll come to the element 3 once i come to this element 3 so i can easily observe that is it is lesser than the pivot element so i'll add it like this uh, function would come this thing would run again again that is result of pointer plus plus is equal to nums of i what is happening basically the at this particular index the 3 is getting stored and after that i am incrementing by pointer you can also do it like a uh, result of pointer is equal to nums of i and then you can do pointer plus plus that depends on you right but this uh, plus plus doing here is also fine right after this you encounter a 10 in this at this index so you will increase your counter to 2 once you have done that so you will see that all the elements which are lesser than 10 are towards the left side and you can easily observe that the relative order is maintained like 9 was occurring then 5 was occurring and then 3 was occurring so you can easily observe that 9 then 5 and then 3 so the relative order has been maintained now you will add what which elements you will add you will add all the elements which are equal to the pivot element right so you add 10 and 10 so you add two times so that is what is your counter is reflecting your counter is reflect, reflecting the number of pivot elements right so you will add 10 and then 10 and you will keep on decreasing your counter and updating your uh, index right once your index will be here and then here then you will move to the next index once you move to the next index so what you will do is you will iterate through the array once again and you will see that what are the elements that are greater than the pivot element now if you will observe in this array so you will come to 9 is 9 greater than the pivot element no it's not so that's why you'll move ahead is 12 greater than the pivot element yes it is so you'll add 12 and then your pointer would be moving here once your pointer moves to here so you will iterate iterate and then you come to 14 14 is greater than the pivot element so you'll add 14 as well and in the end you can see that the array has got uh, sorted or array has got uh, manipulated according to the given constraint right that is the pivot element is lying in the between and the elements that are lesser than the pivot element are lying towards the left and the elements that are greater than the pivot element are lying towards the right side and you can do this in op this operation in order of n and if you will consider the array resultant array that you are making if you consider it as additional space so it will be order of n right space complexity would also be order of n for this particular example if you are considering the resulting array that you are making right which you are returning now with this particular example you can see that we could do it easily right so i'll show you the code for this particular problem so in this particular code what you will be doing is first of all you will be declaring a resultant vector right resultant vector or resultant array so it will be nothing but the size of the original array right that has been given to you now what you will do is you will mark your count as zero indicating the number of elements which are equal to the pivot element and ptr is the pointer that is pointing to the first node initially right that is pointing to the first element first index right zeroth index so what you'll be doing is you'll be iterating through the uh, given array and if that particular element is lesser than the pivot element then you will keep on storing it into your resultant array and you'll up keep updating your pointer right after this if the element is equal to your pivot element in that case you will increment your count of the number of all the elements which are equal equal to the pivot element right after this loop is over so all the elements which are lesser than the pivot element would get stored and what you will do is next up you need to store all the elements which are equal to the pivot element so whatever number of elements are equal to the pivot element the count will be at least equal to one because one element would be equal to the pivot element at least so all the elements uh, which are equal to the pivot element they would get stored and the pointer will get updated correspondingly after that in the end what you need to do is you will iterate through the array once again and you will store all the elements which are greater than the pivot element you will store them into, into the resultant vector and you will keep on updating your pointer each time right then you will simply return the resultant vector in the end and this is how your code will work let me show you that my code is getting accepted in this particular part so i'll submit the code for you you can see that it got accepted so this was the code for this particular problem in case if you have any doubt with this question so you can mention that in the comments and i'll reply back as soon as possible and apart from this you can also check out the channel like we also do lead code daily challenges every day apart from this we also bring code forces lead code and ad coder beginner contest editorials so you can check the channel out thanks a lot for watching and hit the like button if you like the video thank you